Hi, this is Eula and I am revolutionizing Notion experiences. In this video, I will be giving you a tour and step-by-step -step tutorial of the Notion Programmer's Hub template. If you haven't already, you can get it at eulacreations.gumroad.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting Notion content and template. Now, let's dive into the tour. In the first section, you can see the languages you are learning. It displays some data such as your coding progress, the number of programs you've coded, the total time you've spent coding in this language this month, and the total time you've spent coding using this language. On this side, there's a callout block for quick navigations to all the databases in this template. Below that is your coding time goal tracker, which gives you information about your progress towards your coding time goal, as well as the time you've spent on coding today, this week, and this month. Below the languages section is the practice sessions block, where you can see all 101 coding activities. If you open a card, it will give you instructions about the coding challenge, as well as the expected result and an example result. There is also a place where you can write your code. Going back to the main dashboard, you can find under the practice sessions, the learning session section, which is a directory of the most suggested programming resources on the internet. Now that we have covered the tour, let's learn how to manage your own programmer's hub workspace. The first thing we need to do is to set all the templates to default for easy setup. In a database, Click the Collapse button beside New. Click the three dots beside the template and click Set as default. Do this in every database. Now, let's set up the trackers. In the navigation, click Time Tracker. Under Daily Goal, input your daily coding time goal in minutes. Make sure that it is in minutes and whatever value you put for the daily goal, make sure it is the same for the weekly and monthly goals. After that, we can now add our languages. Just click New, then input the language name and the number of coding activities you want to code in this language this year. You can see here a page that is focused on the language that you are currently working on. Now let us track the time you spent on your coding sessions. Just click the activity you want to work on. Add the language you want to code in. You can write it in multiple languages of your choice. Click the Start Session button, and it will automatically record the time you started coding. When you are done with your code, just click the Session button. Once you've done this, the total time you've spent coding will be automatically calculated. The data will also be added to the time trackers. Alternatively, you can use the duration property to track your coding time. Just enter the duration of your coding session in minutes and the start time. This can also be useful when you need to add extra time to the total session duration. For example, if you pause a session and then continue coding later, you can input the additional time under duration to ensure accurate computation of your total coding time. Follow the instructions, and you can put your code here after assigning the appropriate language. If you want to add more languages, add your language here. Create new code blocks and change the language accordingly. That concludes our tutorial. If you are interested in more of my templates, check them out at ulacreations.gumroad.com. I offer a variety of free Notion templates that will revolutionize your Notion experience. For updates and Notion tips, follow me on social media. And remember to like and subscribe.